Hi boys and girls and welcome back to our channel. Before we get started, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you have not already, and hit that notification bell so that you are in the know each and every time we upload a new video. Also, I do not own the rights to this book. This video is for entertainment purposes only. Let's get started. Today's story is The Perfect Nest by Catherine Friend, illustrated by John Manders. Jack the cat gathered together everything he needed, then built the perfect nest, dry and cozy and just the right size. But the nest was not for Jack. With this perfect nest, he would attract a perfect chicken who would lay a perfect egg, which would make a perfect omelet for a cat like Jack. Soon enough, a chicken came along. Caramba, she cried, a perfect nest. She hopped up and laid a small egg. Then a duck waddled by. Sacre bleu, she cried, the perfect nest. The duck pushed the chicken out, hopped up and laid a medium sized egg. Then a goose lumbered by. Great balls of fire, she cried, a perfect nest. The goose pushed the duck out, hopped up and laid a large egg. Jack's mouth began to water. Three eggs would make three omelets. But then the duck leaped onto the goose's back. Zee, zee's my nest. The chicken flew up onto the duck. No, this is my nest. The three cackled and quacked and humped but each refused to leave the perfect nest. They squished each other for days. Each day, Jack tried to get the birds off the eggs. Fire, fire, he cried. They didn't move. Flood, flood, he cried. They didn't move. Wolf, wolf, he cried, but the chicken the duck and the goose would not move. Finally, Jack stood before them. You birds are so silly. The next farm over has an even better nest and it's empty. Why doesn't one of you use that nest? An empty nest, cried the chicken, without a goose to sit on my head? Caramba! Sacre bleu, cried the duck. I am tired of smelling like the chicken. That nest is mine. Great balls of fire, cried the goose. Out of my way. And they all flapped away. Alone at last, Jack returned to the nest and peeked inside. He arranged the eggs neatly in a row. Small for breakfast medium lunch, and large dinner. Jack's stomach rumbled. But then, crack, the small egg broke open and out popped a wet baby chick who looked up at Jack and said, Caramba, hola, mama. Crackety snap. The medium-sized egg broke open and out scrambled a wet baby duck who looked up at Jack and said, Sacre bleu, bonjour, maman. Crackety, crackety, boom! The largest egg broke open and out stepped a wet baby goose who looked up at Jack and said, Great balls of fire! Howdy, ma! Jack stared at the babies. What was he to do? He couldn't make omelets out of them. 
Dry me, dry me, dry me, cried the soggy baby chick. Feed me, feed me, feed me, cried the hungry baby duck. Play, 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 cried the excited baby goose. Jack hid in the barn. The three babies found him. He hid in the woods. The three babies found him. Jack hid under the tractor. The three babies found him and dragged him back to the nest. Sleep, 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 the tired babies finally whispered. Cold, 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 said the shivering babies. Jack scratched his head. Someone had to care for these babies, but there was no one else around. Jack lifted all three babies into the nest. Buenas noches. <sighs> Mama, said the baby chick. Bon nuit, Maman, said the baby duck. Sweet dreams, Maul, said the baby goose. Then Jack climbed into the nest and the babies fell asleep. That's when he realized that this really was the perfect nest. The end. The Perfect Nest by Catherine Friend is one of my favorite books. If you enjoyed it as well, please remember to give it a thumbs up so that other students can enjoy it as well. Until next time, bye.